what's up all right in this video i'm just gonna run through the garden real quick you know and just show you you know how the garden is looking after uh, three days since we have that extremely cold weather like not that like, cool weather you know in, in the lower 30s you know in florida so just want to check sometimes the cold it damage doesn't show up on the plants until a few days after so that's why i waited until well this is the third because we had the cold nights was friday saturday you know i think sunday so today is what tuesday so two days yeah two to three days so you know let's go check on the stuff and see how you know what got damaged all right, the, the, the moringa, that, that's still looking good. The leaves falling is just because of winter. But this banana, the leaves on this banana looking good. Look how tall this is. This is like maybe 20 foot up in the air. Yeah, and the leaves, if you see right there, there's a little cold damage on the edge of that leaf. You know, so it's not more banana took it really good yep there's some suckers there you know the Namo banana took the cold good no not nothing protecting it it's just wide out and open yeah yep and it took it good all right let's let's walk down here <laughs> hmm let's look at the moringa all right, let's, let's go down here. Okay, now look, the moringa have new growth. It's not burnt or nothing. So 30 something degrees and the moringa leaves. Look at the new growth right here. It's, it's not even burnt. That, yeah. Yep, so moringa took it good also. Let's, let's, let's walk down here. Another banana here that took it well. You guys, let's look at the moringa. See all this? 30 something degrees of moringa still looks good. Look, look right here. Yeah. I mean, it's probably get protected from the banana too. You know, the microclimate environment. Uh, let's see. A little yellowing on the banana leaves. I think those are just old leaves. But if you look right here, let's go right here. You see right here? You see this browning right here? That's coal burn on the banana. There's a this young leaf on the the, the cabin dash. So the cabin dash even have more damage done than the other banana. Yep the papaya let's see uh, yeah the uh, look if you see the papaya have see there the papaya have some burnt leaves from it, but it's papaya these leaves keep falling off so that's not a big deal if you notice that the papaya grow keep growing and these keep falling off so that's not a the, the blooms are all there yeah some top leaves have burnt up there but yeah papaya is, is you know it bounce back and even if the tree was supposed to die which i know it's not it's a fast growing tree you could grow that real quick let's sit over here i won't show you everything because i don't want the video to be drawn on the cassava got a little burnt okay. let's see let's bring it over so the, you see the burnt on the cassava yeah but that's all right nothing nothing major yeah so yeah so bananas this is just yellow leaves those leaves are probably gonna die soon let's see the papaya it took some burn see the top of the leaves but that's just to leave the tree look it's healthy yeah still uh, the 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 low quad that could handle it really good let's see the the june plum took a little burn but there's two june plum <laughs> let's go over here and look at this one this one 
this one looks good a few little burnt leaves here and there but nothing i sure the tree made trees looking perfectly fine the star fruit took a little burn too yeah but overall yeah nothing big to even complain about or nothing just wanted to give you guys a follow-up the video uh, the barbados cherry i think yeah if you see right here took a little burn yes <coughs> Yep, so the Barbie's cherry took up some burn. The, the, the leafy greens, yeah, they are right. They love that kind of weather. Okay. So yeah, the, the, the papaya here took a little burn. A big deal. Let's see. This is the Motingia. Jamaican cherry. I did cover this, but this is extremely cold sensitive. So, yeah, I guess in you know, the winter the leaves will probably, yeah, it took a little burn still. See, those are dark spots on the leaves. So, I took a little burn. So, a few plants, you know, got, got a little burnt from the cold, but nothing major to, you know, like complain about. Just, part of the environment that's part of living in subtropical environments yeah one of my biggest worry was just you know if the to my tomatoes would have survived the cold so I, I did cover this tomato with a sheet so and it looks good look at the leaves guys so the tomato did great covering we went to what 30 low 30s and I give you a good look at the tomato. I covered it with a sheet and it did excellent. Look, you know the cold damage that showed up right away on the tomato. Yep, so that's looking really good. Pushing a lot of flowers. Let's let's go look at some more tomatoes. And look, there's one more here. Alright, this tomato wasn't even covered at all this was just left right here I, you know like okay i can't cover everything but this look good this is the everglades tomato and that's looking good also this wasn't covered and this one was was covered all right let's look at another one that was covered all right this is a volunteer here wasn't covered it looks great Let's go right here. this is one that uh that was covered and the leaves are looking good okay tomatoes here see right here tomatoes there okay so that, that did really good let's go check on another tomato so the tomatoes actually did really good <laughs> all right this is another one right here all right let's see okay a little bit of burn on the edge of these yep so this one i would say this did good too yep so during that cold, like the fruit trees, I wasn't really worried that, not that much. <clears throat> but the tomatoes, I was like, I really don't want to start these tomatoes over again. So that tomato is looking good. Yeah, the, the peppers here. Okay, peppers still look good. Oh, this one look a little bit beat up. Yep. But the peppers did good. I didn't cover none of these peppers at all. I left them that the nature did really. and the pe pe peppers did well but the 30 something degrees. Alright. <laughs> Alright. The mango here. 
This manga took a little burn right here. Let's go to another manga here. This other manga, this is looking good. It's actually ready to push the flowers. You see that? I think it's ready. It's pushing. Ready to push that flower. Let's see. Yeah. Yep. Ready to push that flower. Let's see. Uh, this mango, this this is fine. This is a numb that my that that. It's okay. Yeah, but the, the cassava. The main thing that got burnt is the cassava. You know the cassava. The cassava took a lot of it, the papaya leaves. But away from that, you know, I would say everything else is all right. Yeah. The the another plum over here. Let's see. Yeah, this this took yeah, this also, but this is gonna this normally drop all these leaves for the winter. This is the hard plum. This normally all the leaves should fall off of this. Yeah, this took a little burn too, but the tree itself took it. Yeah. Yep. And look at the young leaves on the sapodilla. That that made that this wasn't even protected. This this looks good. This made up really good. The young leaves on the guava. Guava did well as well. It did. The another star fruit. Yeah, that took a little burn too. So that's it basically. I'm not gonna draw this video out. Oh, let's look on the pigeon peas before we go anywhere. You know, this is real tropical. So the pigeon peas, if you see the little browning right here, took a little burn, but that's not stopping it from producing mass amount of food. Look right here. So the blooms and everything, bunch of food producing on, on it. <laughs> so that's good. So it may just, the, so the, so my everything I would just say we got a little tiny damage not much to, to nothing to worry about all right so just want to give you an update thank you for watching have a great day